important pieces to the puzzle. You know, two offensive players, uh, a quarterback that we think has a high, high ceiling, uh, two very high character guys that fit into the culture here. Uh, we're real excited. Real excited. How much can Travis help you in the past game? Well, I think, you know, if you go back to his college film, I think you see he's an explosive player, you know, and he multi-line, can detach, can come out of the backfield. So offers a tremendous amount of, uh, of you know, versatility in the pass game as well as, you know, the, that explosive playmaking ability that you covet. In your experience, does it help if teammates uh, come to the league, come to the same team at the same time? I don't know. It's never, to my knowledge, you know, it's this is the first time it's ever happened in the first round, at least in modern era drafting. Uh, it's never happened in any any draft that I've been in. Uh, so, you know, I, I guess I can't recollect it happening. Does it does it help? Certainly. You know, there's a lot of familiarity with with each other, um, both in the pass game and the run game. So I think it does help. The lack of big plays last year. Well, the one thing, it's, it's hard to, to have 14, 15, 16 play drives in the National Football League. You've got to be able to flip the field. You've got to be able to score from every level of, a, of the field. And, you know, the only way you can do that is to add explosive players. And we feel Travis is one of those. Trent, uh, three of the players that, that may have very well have been mocked to you at 25 are all still on that board. Are you surprised that you know some of the guys that are on that board are still there, or is it just a testament to how this draft between 20 and 45, the players could be, depending on which team was doing the evaluating, could fluctuate anywhere? Well, I'll, I'll be very honest with you. I've not, I do not look at mock drafts, so I don't know who who you may be referring to, and I do that because you know it, it does it does us no good. You know, where, where guys are projected to go by people that haven't done a lot of film research, you know, uh, talk to people. But um, I, we just follow the board. We build the board off value, put the best players high on the board and, and cascade it down from there, and then let the board speak. And we felt very good about what we got at one and what we got at 25. Well, as a follow-up to that, do you, when you're looking at this board for tomorrow, do you do you like what you're seeing now as to, as to what's available to you? Yeah, we're, we're in a very good situation, obviously. We've got, we've got three or four guys left that we had valued at that level and feel like, uh, you know, we're going to do what Coach and I always talk about. We're going to let it breathe, come back tomorrow. we got a, lo a long day uh, to, to sit down and talk things through, but feel very good about where we're sitting right now going into tomorrow. Nerve-wracking? <laughs> yeah, Travis is someone we had penciled in at 25, and we're hoping he would would get to us. Uh, we had several others as well, but you know, it, you always have a plan A, plan B, plan C, one, two, three, however you want to rate it. Uh, we feel very good about how we ended up the day to, today. Well, I, I think, you know, I don't know who questions it, I guess. Uh, you know, if, if there's other GMs that feel the same way, don't take a back, take a back. Uh, you know, our, our job is to take the best football players available. And when you got a chance to add an explosive, dynamic player to your, to your team, uh, you, you know, I don't think that's a roll of the dice. I just think that's a, an educated decision that we were willing to make. Trent, this is a time where you guys are evaluating a ton of guys over the once you made the decision uh, for Trevor, are, are you able to talk with him to get him up to speed and learning some things about what you wanted to do at the quarterback spot with any of your time? Are you able to have him start learning your offense with some conversations over the phone and things like that? Yeah, it, very fortunate when you, when you know which direction you're going and you're sitting at one, 
you know, what you're allowed to discuss with them over the phone. You're only allowed five, you know, this, this season where you're only allowed five Zoom calls with them. Uh, we use those very strategically, and we've done a lot of phone conversations as well. So, you know, I, we feel very good about where he's at within the, the, the learning process already, and now we can expedite it. You know, he did come in for a workout, uh, and I can't even remember several weeks ago, whatever that was. Um, you know, he's, he worked out as a tight end, and that's the position he'll be playing. Uh, right now, where it stands, we're, we're going to get through the draft, and our whole focus, quite honestly, has been on the draft, and we'll worry about that when the draft is over. Did anybody call uh, at 25 looking to move up? Did you guys field a lot of interest there, or was it pretty quiet? No, we fielded some interest. You know, I, I can't remember exactly how far back we would have had to go, but, you know, in, in, you know, we would have possibly considered it, you know, if our player wasn't on the board, but he was, and, you know, we felt very strongly about him. We made the pick, and now we get ready for tomorrow. Alex, let's take one more. Go ahead. Where are we looking? Go ahead. Great question. <laughs> we'll have to unmute there. Um, Trent, are you expecting a lot of uh, interest in pick number 33 from other teams around the league? And do you think there's some potential for some moving on day two? Uh, I, th I think, you know, you can always expect some calls for 33 because, you know, every organization now gets to sit back for a night and look at their board and, and look at the value that they place on different players. And, you know, there's always a player left from day one that you want to go get on day two. So I would expect some calls. How willing we will be to move back, that remains to be seen. We feel very good about the position we're in and very good about a few of the players that are still left on the board So, at that level. So uh, we're going to sleep on it. We're going to let it breathe, and we'll come back tomorrow, get refocused, and go to work.